Hi, Paul, this is Jay. I've got four questions to ask uh, atheist, uh, to ask open-minded atheist. Four questions for open-minded atheist. I'll ask the questions and I'll put some source material for you to read and you can go away and answer these questions. So the four questions are, what do you see as some of the shortcomings and benefits of using archaeology to corroborate the New Testament? What do you see as some of the shortcomings and benefits of using archaeology to corroborate the New Testament? So for each question, I'll put question one, I'll put number one, and I'll put a source material that you can watch or read, alright? So I'll put something for number one. So number one, what do you see as some of the shortcomings and benefits of using archaeology to corroborate the New Testament? Number two. If Luke and other New Testament writers are shown to be accurate in reporting incidental details, does this increase your confidence that they would be similarly careful in recording more important events? Why or why not? Why do you find Dr. McRae's analysis of the puzzles concerning the consensus, the existence of Nazareth and the slaughter of at Bethlehem to be generally plausible or implausible? Why do you find Dr. McRae's analysis of the puzzles concerning the census, the existence of Nazareth, and the slaughter of Bethlehem to be generally plausible or implausible? After having considered the eyewitness documentary corroborative and scientific evidence in the case of Christ, stop and assess your consciousness conclusion so far. On a scale of 0 to t 10, with 0 being no confidence in the essential reliability of the Gospels, and 10 being full confidence, where would you rate yourself at this point? What are some reasons you choose that you choose that number chose that number? So thank you for listening and I'll put the source material for each of those questions.